Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the deaths of Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain. So if you guys don't know about five days ago, Kate Spade hung herself um, in her home and I believe her maid found her. So it's been a lot of really weird circumstances concerning that, but I've been keeping up with it. They're saying that she supposedly killed herself because her husband of 23 years asked her for a divorce. And then two days after her death, her husband was spotted coming out of their home with a rescue ranger's mouse mask on, okay? Um, yeah, no way to be more inconspicuous than putting on a damn mouse mask, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and check out this picture of him walking out with a mask on his face. Check this out. Kate Spade's husband is hiding his grief in a mouse mask. Two days after Kate's shocking suicide, Andy Spade left his Manhattan apartment wearing the bizarre mask. Photographers surrounded him and expressed sympathy as Spade appealed for privacy. Sorry for your loss, Andy. Meanwhile, the New York City medical examiner made it official. Cause of death, hanging, manner, suicide. In a statement, Andy Spade confirms he moved out 10 months ago, but he and his wife remained close. We ate many meals together as a family. We were not legally separated and never even discussed divorce. The statement also denounced the leak of Kate's suicide note, which was addressed to their 13-year-old daughter, B, and reportedly declared, B, I have always loved you. This is not your fault. Ask daddy. We spoke to psychiatrist Dr. Gail Saltz. It's not good for the child to blame the other parent because they need a parent and in their mind, they need a good parent. Andy Spade said, I have yet to see any note left behind and am appalled that a private message to my daughter has been so heartlessly shared with the media. He also expressed shock at the suicide. We were in touch with Kate the night before and she sounded happy. But Kate's sister, Rita Safo, says Kate struggled with bipolar disorder and used alcohol to cope. In a biting email to Inside Edition, the sister writes, I have been threatened today by family members for speaking the sad truth. Katie's truth must be told and will be. All right, so you guys just saw that picture. So, you know, everybody's been saying the same thing. It's really sad. You know, Kate Spade basically built an empire. Her and her husband became millionaires. But it just goes to show you once again, everything that glitters isn't always gold. You know, and unfortunately for her, she chose to take her life. And she leaves behind her 13-year-old daughter, okay? So that's what initially happened. And then two days later... Anthony Bourdain killed himself. Now, this is how I found that. I didn't even realize this had happened on Friday because I've just been so busy getting a lot of stuff done with this tea line and just, you know, there's still a bunch of work I'm doing on the back end, okay? So then Saturday morning, my manager called me and was like, did you hear about Anthony Bourdain? And I'm like, what about Anthony Bourdain? And he said Anthony Bourdain killed himself. And I was not only shocked, I was screaming. Because if you guys don't know, I'm a big fan of Anthony Bourdain. I love Parts Unknown. I've been watching him since he was on the Food Network. And when he would do stuff with his then ex-wife. And they would go to like different countries eating things. And then when he came to CNN, I was definitely a fan. And he recently went to Lagos, Nigeria in October of this year. And I love that episode. I also love when he went to Ethiopia. And he went to Addis Ababa. And we just got a chance to like just see so many different countries so many different parts of the world you know that I would never even been interested in going to see you know what I'm saying like he went to Antarctica I never even thought about Antarctica I just, and he took us to Antarctica and we met like all these cool scientists and really try to and really find out how they lived and worked and you know what made them want to live somewhere that was like 50 degrees below I was cold just watching the damn episode okay I learned a lot from Anthony Bourdain I definitely love his personality he's very open about his drug use and everything he went through and I felt like he was a very open and honest person but a lot of things just bother me with both of these deaths and that's why I didn't really want to come out this weekend and just talk about it I really wanted to just kind of simmer and, and and just think about it and think about how I wanted to do the video you know like Whenever celebrities die, of course, people always say there's a blood sacrifice, Illuminati ritual. You know, you get all the conspiracies that come with that, okay? And I get that. But something to me just does not seem right with any of this, especially concerning Anthony Bourdain. 
Um, with Kate Spade, you know, she was involved in some shady stuff with Haiti and Hillary Clinton and how they were trying to use a lot of the Haitian people instead of building up their government, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and being able to get them jobs and, and sustaining, you know, an economy down there. A lot of these big manufacturing companies were going down to Haiti and were basically, you know, using these people as slave labor to make merchandises, purses and stuff like that. And Kate Spade was one of those people named in that, um, you know, not judging her but you know I do have to give her the side eye so that aside is kind of eerie with the you know coincidence with Hillary Clinton but what really bothers me with this whole Anthony Bourdain situation is his girlfriend now I wasn't even aware that he had a girlfriend you know I wasn't checking for her I knew him and his wife got a divorce I knew he had his you know his young 11 year old daughter but the woman that he's dating is Asia Argento and so I started researching more about her and they're saying that the last post that she posted on Instagram before deleting it is basically saying, you know, fuck everybody, you know who you are. And then there were pictures prior of her supposedly, you know, out creeping with some other guy that Anthony knew and things like that. And they're trying to say that basically Anthony Bourdain killed himself possibly over her and her infidelities, which I'm not buying. And the funny thing about this is that this woman was one of the ones who was heavily involved in the Me Too organization. And and she was the one who blasted Harvey Weinstein at this past year's Cannes Film Festival, where she basically let the whole world know that Harvey Weinstein raped her. And with her coming out, she became really close to Rose McGowan. And if you've been on this channel for any length of time, you guys know how I feel about Rose McGowan. I'm not a fan of hers. I will never be a fan of hers. I don't give a damn how much her Rose Thorns call themselves trying to attack me and cuss me out with all their feminist propaganda. I'm not a fan of Rose McGowan. She's been talking nonstop about Anthony Bourdain. Now she's coming out with these, you know, letters trying to defend his girlfriend. You know, she's really involving herself. But a lot of people are tying his death to possibly Harvey Weinstein because we all know he's very powerful. And the fact that he was dating a woman who basically, you know, helped to set the ball rolling on the rape allegations against Harvey Weinstein. Tears stream down Rose McGowan's face as she speaks out about the shocking suicide of her friend, Anthony Bourdain. The world will not be better off without you. Anthony, why? The 61-year-old host of CNN's Parts Unknown hanged himself just three days after designer Kate Spade took her life in the same manner. Bourdain's girlfriend was actress Aja Argento, an outspoken Harvey Weinstein accuser. In 1997, I was raped by Harvey Weinstein here at Cannes. I was 21 years old. She paid tribute to Bourdain today. He was my love, my rock, my protector. I am beyond devastated. This photo of them together in Italy was taken just last week, but there are reports their relationship was in trouble after she was spotted in Rome in a romantic embrace with a French journalist. Two hours before Bourdain's body was found, she posted a selfie wearing a t-shirt saying, blank everyone, and the cryptic message, you know who you are. Bourdain was found dead by one of his closest friends, celebrity chef Eric Repair, in a four-star hotel outside Strasbourg, France, in a luxury suite like this. Repair tweeted, I pray he is at peace from the bottom of my heart. They're CNN's Brian Stelter. Brian broke the tragic news at 7.19 a.m. Anthony, Anthony was found dead this morning in his hotel room in France. He had hung himself. Celebrity chef Mark Murphy is in mourning today. True, genuine, big heart, um, generous guy. Um, and that he's gone is just sort of unbelievable. CNN's Kate Baldwin teared up as she reported on her colleague's death. Every time he'd walk off set, I'd always, I'd always shout at him as he was walking off. I'd say, in my next life, I'm coming back as Anthony Bourdain. And I, I wonder, is that why it's maybe so hard to process this today? Network morning show anchors appeared stunned as the news broke. We obviously have been reporting all this week on the, on the suicide of Kate Spade, um, now Anthony Bourdain. Of course, this news comes just as we're still in shock over the death of Kate Spade. Bourdain lived here in Manhattan, close to CNN's studio. Before he became a TV star, he was a successful chef and rose to fame as the author of Kitchen Confidential. He was known as the original rock star of the culinary world. President Trump talked about the tragedy as he left for the G7 summit. Anthony Bourdain is dead, and I enjoyed his show. He was quite a character, I will say, but uh, so I just want to extend my condolences and also to the family of Kate Spade. 
President Obama, who made a guest appearance on Parts Unknown in 2016, tweeted, This is how I'll remember Tony. We'll miss him. Last Sunday, Bourdain posted this video, partying with Argento and members of the Parts Unknown production team. This image shows Bourdain filming Parts Unknown in France on Monday. Like Kate Spade, Bourdain leaves a daughter, 11-year-old Ariane, to cope with the tragedy of his needless death. And, you know, Anthony Bourdain himself was involved in a lot of stuff where because of his travels and him being out there, he wanted to do a lot of stuff for humanity. He wanted to talk about sex trafficking. He wanted to talk about, you know, some of like the, the dark things that happened in a lot of these countries, not just the food. He wanted to shed light on a lot of, you know, bad things that were happening to just regular people. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys don't know, like back in 2014, Anthony Bourdain, he had interviewed this Russian guy. His name was Boris Nemstok. And he was one of the most like outspoken critics of Vladimir Putin. And so out of everybody that could interview him, he decided to meet with Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain interviewed him back in 2014. And a year later, this man was shot in the head. And they said that it was Vladimir Putin's goons who did it, okay? So Anthony Bourdain has been, you know, very, very heavily involved in like politics behind the scenes. Oh, given the worrying uh, connection between angering uh, Vladimir Putin and bad things happening. Um, aren't you concerned? Me? Yeah. About myself? Yeah. You're a pain in the ass. I'm concerned generally. Generally. I, I want to tell you my family are much more concerned than me. Because if you are concerned every minute, the best way is to be killed. Why can't you just go along like everybody else? Why do you have to be, you know, why, I'm, why make life difficult for yourself uh, well, uh, against overwhelming this is, odds? This is a good question. First, I'm a well-known guy. And this is a safety. Because if something happens with me, it will be a scandal not only in Moscow City, but throughout the world. And Anthony Bourdain joins me now. I mean, he thought in some ways that his notoriety would protect him. And uh, he was wrong. Uh, he didn't seem concerned uh, when I had dinner with him. I really think he, he enjoyed being who he was. Mm -hmm. um, he was fully aware of the danger of the situation in general, and I think uh, he, he, he was not surprised by the corruption and the extent of the corruption going on around him. But I, I, you heard what he said. I think he believed that his stature, uh, his position, uh, his international profile would... And he's met with a lot of people that have raised eyebrows over the years, okay? He called out Russia numerous times. And another thing that really bothers me with his death is I look more into his girlfriend. This chick is a witch. And it's like of all the people he could be dating, he's dating a witch. And I'm not knocking anybody who's into Wiccan because I'm sure I probably have witches who subscribe to me. But just everything is just weird. It's like how come when, you know, somebody dies in Hollywood, there's like just all this weird shit that just comes along with their death. It's like people in Hollywood just don't die. There's always some type of conspiracy. They're, they're always attached to like some type of shady dealing. It's like literally a whole coven of witches were leading prayers for Anthony Bourdain's girlfriend and Anthony Bourdain. It was like the weirdest shit I saw on Twitter. And it's just like, what in the world is going on here? So I don't know. I don't know how to take his death. You know, he will definitely be missed. And again, if you are going through things, if you are feeling suicidal, please get help. You know, there's a phone number you guys can call and you can talk to the suicide prevention line. But I just, you know, I just find it strange that both of these people who were living their best life and Anthony Bourdain, that's one thing I always loved about him is the fact that he knew he was living a good life, okay? He was not ashamed to admit that he had one of the best jobs ever. 
Basically, this man was flying around the world, getting paid millions of dollars to meet with different people and enjoy different customs and eat some of the best food and drink some of the best wines. Like he he lived a wonderful life. Anybody would trade places with Anthony Bourdain before he killed himself. You know what I'm saying? He was living a dream job and he knew it. And he never took it for granted. And I just refuse to believe that one moment he's filming for his show and then the next moment he goes into the bathroom and he hangs himself. Like, I don't know. They're saying that there's no foul play involved but my tin hat is tingling i'm not feeling the death of anthony bourdain whatsoever hell i'm barely feeling the death of kate spade i always tell you guys suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary situation and eventually it does get better you know we've all been there i've been there myself i've talked about this openly and candidly on my channel in the past you know and i think about you know had I gone through and, and had it worked out, that would have been the end of my life. And look how much better my life has gotten over the years compared to where I was when I was in that suicidal mind frame and dealing with that depression and angst and everything I was going through a few years back. So again, it does get better. So if you need help and if you wanna talk about it with somebody, definitely seek those people who are professionals who can like truly genuinely help you come out of that depression. You know, so this entire situation with Anthony Bourdain, I definitely took it hard because I'm a big fan. I loved his work. I enjoyed watching his show on Sundays. You know, this past Sunday, I was going through my DVR and watching some of the old episodes. And, you know, it's really sad that, you know, if this was truly a suicide, it's sad that he felt the need to take his life because, again, you know, he meant a lot to a lot of people in this world. And he was definitely one of those people who was not afraid to speak his mind and to be a voice for the everyday man and woman. So rest in peace to Anthony Bourdain. You definitely will be missed. Rest in peace to Kate Spade, who had some really nice bags. I mean, both situations are sad. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning both of these deaths. How do you feel about the whole Kate Spade situation? And how do you feel about her husband being seen with that mouse mask? I don't know what the hell that was about. And then how do you feel about Anthony Bourdain supposedly killing himself? And then it's coming out now that his girlfriend was a witch and, you know, the whole Harvey Weinstein connection and Rose McGowan. I swear my tin hat is just tingling with both of these stories. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.